Anyways, topic number one. Where is the popularity at in collecting? Do you think it's DC, Marvel, anime, or film, like currently right now? I've been hearing a lot of chats, a lot of uh, streams say that, you know, certain characters aren't as popular in the collecting aspect just due to like the MCU, the DCU, um, you know, even if it's CW shows like, you know, um, Gotham, Air, the Arrowverse, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what do you guys think? Because uh, I'm under the belief that the popularity in collecting right now is film and anime based on what I see people buying. If mm -hmm. if I had if I had to rank them, yeah. it would go it would go anime, film, then DC and then Marvel. Marvel is probably the least popular, I think. Out of wow. Those. Yeah, um I'm going to go anime just because um like with the current stuff that I'm doing for my channel is making mm -hmm. me have to reach out to other collectors. And the different spaces that I'm running into right now, it's just, even if they collect film, they collect anime too. If they collect superheroes, they collect anime. If they collect, you know, simple thing. And I mean, anime can be, anime ranges so far as like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, um, things of that nature, and people still collect it. So yeah, it's, it's so much, anime is a broad spectrum of so much stuff that you know you forget sometimes what it is and how much of it is out there and the pieces that are that anime like licensed and unlicensed are producing right now it's like we think sideshow and xm putting out so many statues per year or whatever is a lot or sped up a little bit anime like doubles that and it's just so much they'll put out the same character within a month like i've seen a from Tokyo Ghoul, the main character, uh, Kaneki, he, there's like five versions of him that came out last month. Well, Just, it, seem, it, it seems like they do like a certain scene, like a popular yeah. scene, you know, and that's why there's so many of those statues or the particular character because they do it from every little scene that they have there that's really like, it's popular, I guess. And I don't know too much about film, as like statue-wise, like collectors. Besides, like what Prime One will do in film, like the Pacific Realms, um, what Queen or anybody else would do, like the movie pieces with Marvel, with the MCU. So I don't. That's the only film that I personally know. Like horror, I see a lot of horror film stuff that people collect. Yeah, um, for sure. So film for me would probably be last, and then I think it's a toss up because um, I know like Marvel wise, the MCU. It's really big over there on um, like China and you know Japan and stuff. But that, but uh, that would be, but that would be film though, you know. So yeah, okay, I, then yeah. I, I, so, I, yeah. I spelled that into film, you know. It's Marvel. It's still a film. So yeah, so I, yeah, I, I think DC it's big amongst us collectors. I guess I should say like people who collect. I think DC is like really big, so it's kind of hard. I'm trying to I'm trying to put in people who are new to collecting who just see like a piece versus like also us that been collecting and want the DC pieces and stuff like that cuz people who've been collecting also half of them don't collect DC so it's kind of hard. All right, looks like I got the YouTube back up so I'll be able to like put the poll in the chat. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what the heck was going on. I've been trying this for like couple hours now so i'll uh list it on here and uh get the chat involved and see what everybody thinks um honestly like like i said when i'm going through the groups man i i constantly see people sharing um sharing like anime statues movie statues um i'm just i agree jarhead i think marvel was probably the, the bottom now yeah, like even because like yeah. you always will see the batman statue or something like that but like well you know too you, you, know. you got a whole you got a whole company too that's what they do is mostly dc you know prime one prime one mostly does dc yeah they have their other stuff that they do but they don't do any marvel you know so yeah um but they they do batman you know that's but their, also with, i think that's the same with lbs lbs started out with marvel but as soon as DC was revealed, I feel like DC kind of took over priority a little bit. Um, I think I think there's a lot more collectors that collect DC than there are Marvel, like strictly. I know there's guys that collect both, but I think if, if they do one or the other, I think it's more DC. Active, spelled wrong.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Here we, <laughs> here we go. They'll, they'll start clipping stuff, man. They'll start you put clipping DC stuff. twice. I put DC twice? Yeah, Jesus. You put DC, uh, Marvel, uh, DC. Here we what go. Trying to rush. What you trying to rush for, man? It's your it's your thing. No, nah, I was like, yeah. Here, I'll start the poll over. It's only got five votes anyway, so I'll just start it over real quick. Sorry about that. Yeah. Jesus, now I gotta type all that back up, man. It's Keese's blabbering that made me. So, made me so listen. both of you. So I, I'll, I'll stand to this. Both of you collect both, right? DC and Marvel. I yeah, yeah. Which one's your favorite? DC. Uh, DC. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm a DC. Yeah, guy. DC yeah. man for sure. Like I, I love where uh, where this room is going at. Like no doubt. Like I, you, I, I love it. But if you ask them, like overall, like right now I got more like superhero pieces, but once I got like a bunch of anime pieces coming in, and I think if you ask me, once they're all in and I have it all together set up. What's my favorite? It'll probably be the anime pieces. Out of all right, all of them. pull us back up, guys. What's up, uh, Jesse Hernandez? Why do you why do you think anime is gonna be like the best for you? Is it just because like the, the the nostalgic or, or what? Um, anime is what I started with. I didn't start off with superheroes. Wow. So I started off watching anime when I was younger, before like really getting into superheroes. Like, of course, I watched like the old Batman uh, animated series. Like the old ass one, and then I watched the Superman one, and then the '90s Spider-Man cartoons. Like I watched all those, but I didn't really get into superheroes until Justice League, the animation show. And then, like, it followed up with Justice League Unlimited. Like for the longest time, I thought John Stewart like was the only Green Lantern wow. until I picked up a comic. Yeah, so. Um, but yeah, animation has always been there for me, so that's why. No doubt, man. No doubt. Um, I actually just bought my first uh, anime statue. Actually, um, I mean, I've, I've had like those uh, ones from Crane King, as well as like mm -hmm. Van Presto before of Dragon Ball Z. But I bought my first actual statue uh, maybe like two, three days ago. Um, probably won't be here till the end of the year or like early two thousand, you know, two thousand twenty-four. But um, started out with, with Trunks, man. Got Trunks, and um, pretty excited for it um and we'll just see where, where everything goes but i'm revamping the whole man cave out there finally got like the focus down pack took a while man it's crazy like collecting now for three years like really just having to find i didn't realize how many statues you actually had until you did your room tour and i was like oh no you got a oh, couple yeah. Oh, yeah you got a lot so i, I can <laughs> understand let's call it but i'm th i've been thinking about getting a life-size uh anime statue i think i know I this one too yeah, I didn't want uh I I talked to my wife about it and she was like, as long as you keep it in the room, I don't care. Have you guys seen that uh that one piece um uh bus they coming out with? One which piece one? Bus. They got yeah. um it's on it's on the uh spec oh, the... it's got like him in different like time periods and like there's a movie like a movie reel going through the whole thing. And just different scenes from. The, from oh, you mean the, you mean Naruto? Was it Naruto? Naruto? Okay, yeah, Naruto, I'm sorry. It was Naruto. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, I thought that one was really good until I saw the price. Sorry, I'm, I'm not a. I'm not a anime boy like that. So. I, nah, I, that's, oh, I, I've yeah, watched my, yeah. I've watched my fair share, but. Yeah, it was. That's a good piece, but it was. Uh, it's you talking about this it's one right here? Yeah. Yeah. Three thousand dollars. It's that's crazy pricey. that is that's definitely a crazy price but if it looks but... exactly like that i still wouldn't pay three thousand for it but if it looks exactly like that i'd be happy there was another one that had come out too uh, i think that was one piece and it sold out like instantly but it wasn't oh, this, it wasn't, this I have it, wasn't no it's gonna it wasn't it wasn't three grand yeah this is gonna sell out easy Hey man, it's another crazy thing about anime is uh, anime statues are a lot cheaper than like comic not statues. <laughs> you get not this one, but like like your the overall, yeah, yeah, dude, overall like, general, yeah. 
Or and they, yeah, and they, they usually offer them too in, in one six and one fourth too. Yeah. Like when they come out with one, that it's usually either one six or one fourth. Yeah, for sure. Like it's it's just it's kind of like night and day, man. Uh, which trunks? Um, it is trunks from. Let me see the name of the studio. Uh, can't even spell say the name of the studio. Shao High Studio. But uh, it's pretty cool, Trunks. Um, I believe it's when he faced off against Frieza, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hey, Jarhead, you seen uh, that custom of that Anakin versus Obi Wan? Yeah, I'm I'm in that group. Yeah, That's I, film. Yeah, I got that. Uh, I pre-ordered that. Uh huh. And at first, I was worried about the lava because when he said it was like a light up. Yeah. I was like, oh man. But then I saw. Uh, if 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 you look at their other projects they got going on, like their light up features are, are pretty pretty good. So yeah, so I'm I'm, ex- I'm excited about that. I'm talking about all these other pre orders, and I still got that one to pay off. How many pre orders do you have? Anime wise, I have like three. I have two superhero ones, but it's like uh, casual. I'm paying him off for his storm, uh, Sideshow Storm. And then my uh, local comic shop, I got the Nightcrawler. I'm paying off. And that's about it. Nightcrawler is a beautiful statue. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get that, you know. Yeah, seeing it in person, I was very shocked. I was like, yeah. Some scene lines you can't avoid, but to uh, see. Are they bad or? It's okay. In a retrospect of us collectors that point out like other things. Yeah, it's bad. But if you're just like looking at it and you're appreciating the statue, no. Like the color, the paint app on it looks really good. Like it's it's a really good piece. I don't think I'm that bad of a collector, honestly. I feel like I'm the type of collector that I'm still just enamored by the fact that we get this type of stuff in terms of like the collectibles, the prints, everything. So for me, I'm willing to accept a little flaw here and there. Cause I just, I just understand realistically that no statue is 110%. And I don't care how much money I spend on a statue. I'm never going to get it thinking that it's going to be 110%. I just feel like that's unrealistic of an expectation. Yeah. And I'm not saying I, I, I'm willing to settle for anything, you know, less than I guess what the pre-order is looking like, but I mean, there's two sides yeah. to that coin, you know, it's like, it is. it's people, it's people that think like that, but then there's other people like, well, I paid this amount of money for this piece. It should be, you know, pristine. But you know, so I see, the, I see both aspects. The drawback to that is like, does money define what a piece, how great a piece should be? And I'm not saying, and I get it. You can't compare a dollar to a thousand dollars. I get that. But at the same time, if something costs a dollar, shouldn't I not get my money's worth as well? It, it, like, it depends on you know? depends on the quality of the item you're going for. You know, if, yeah. if if some if like some of the bigger name like studios, they charge quite a bit more for a one fourth. You right. know, and I'm expecting more for that money if I'm gonna spend that money. Like Sideshow, yeah, you know, everybody likes Sideshow and people start off that way and you know, but when I buy like an XM piece, I'm like, Well, you know what? I'm I'm expecting more from that XM piece because I paid a higher price point on it. You know? So yeah, like, it's, it's so it's like a car analogy, you know. A Ford versus a BMW. You know, you, yeah. you're expecting more from a BMW than a Ford. You know, it's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I get like, that. Like when I was talking to uh, Alex from Rad Titan, mm-hmm. and we were talking about the Ghost Rider because he has it too on horse. Like, I was just happy to have it. Like, I thought it matched up what I wanted. I thought it hit on all notes. And I paid x amount of money for it and he's like yeah i paid around the same price but i was mad he said he he was mad because the the base for the extra torso the flames didn't look like how they did on the statue they're kind of lackluster and i didn't really think about it but like you said like jar has said there is that other side of that coin where other people are like hey i pay this much for it everything about this statue don't matter if it's a bus set off to the side everything about it should be the same standard per yeah. se. So this I definitely agree with that aspect that 
some there's some people who look at it like, hey, I just like the statue. I get it. It's whatever. I understand there's going to be some kind of flaws on it, whatever. And there's some people who are just like, nah, I pay for this. This is how the prototype looked. I wanted to look exactly like that. And that's why some people prefer certain companies over others, too, because they know if they're going to spend that money on a certain type of statue or whatever, you know, a prime one or an XM, it should be held to a higher standard, you know? And I think that's why some people collect, that's all they collect is prime one or XM. Yeah, as much as this stuff costs, I get it, but I'm not going to lie. Like for me, Sideshow, I really like, and I think I like because of the price point, the footprint, and I just feel like, I feel like Sideshow kind of gets knocked because, you know, it's this five to seven hundred dollar statue and you can't compare it to the eight hundred to thirteen hundred you know xm um type deal and i just feel like you know they have some really good pieces you know just like any other studio has really good pieces um i feel like the sideshow bane could compare up to i'm um, dare i say maybe most of uh the xm dc pieces I, I I really like the band, you know. Well, I mean, Sideshow historically has had some great statues that have come out. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, I don't think nobody's know, denying that. It, it's just one of those things that you know. Are you are you wanting? It just depends on what you want, you know. What you what you think is more important to you as a collector, you know. Yeah. If you think that the uh, a good great price point, and you don't care too much about certain things, and you just want that really great price point, and like you said. The space saving, you know, if that's what you want and that's what you're looking for, then obviously that you're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna gravitate towards, towards sideshow, you know. But if you're like wanting like this massive piece and so much detail, you're gonna probably gonna go to another, you know. Like even company. with like the space saving, if you look at what sideshow does, like they'll give you half a bike, they'll give you half a board, like Silver Surfer, Ghost Rider. And when I first seen a Ghost Rider, I instantly thought about Silver Surfer and Nova. I'm like, the flames are kind of like the Nova flames. And then the half bike is like the half surfer board. And for me, I felt like, okay, cool. Only thing I don't like is just the price on it. But the actual statue itself, I'm all for it. I have no problem with the actual statue. I just wish it was like 850 maybe tops. What's funny about that is I have actually a custom Ghost Rider on order. Mm -hmm. And it costs maybe hundred, two hundred dollars more than that sideshow piece. Wow! So it's, it's it's just funny. And it's a whole bike. Yeah, it, it just you can't. I can't justify that. Like mine, I think retail for this was what fifteen or something like that. Yeah. For the horse, and then that's only a couple hundred. Like what, four hundred more than sideshows, and that's a high half bike. Not even a half bike, because if you look at it, it's not half of the bike. You know, it, it goes up to the engine, and that's it. So I, think, I mean, I, I, it is a good looking statue. I like the way it looks. What yeah, it's a, it's a good looking statue. It's just I think Sideshow shot themselves in the foot. I think it is something they can test the waters with if people would pay it. I feel like that's what they're doing. It's testing the waters, but at the same time, it's a really good looking statue. And I think they yeah. would have sold out easy. If they just had a lower price point, it's it's they're still gonna sell some, you know. There's, I mean, they might not sell out of them, but they're still gonna sell oh, them. I, don't, I, I still I don't think they're the gonna move units. units. Yeah. yeah, it's a good looking statue. And if you really want a Ghost Rider statue, I mean, you missed out on the XM one, you know. That's and that's the only thing. Like, if you can't justify, I feel like those people who said they can't justify spending eleven hundred on that one. I personally, like, I could see myself getting it, but at the same time. If I have a problem with eleven hundred, I'm gonna have a problem with the three thousand. Somebody's gonna try to yeah, same here for sure. So tell me to buy for with the XM one on aftermarket, so I can't that's, do that. But that's that's the perception of value, you know. Yeah, that's what do like, you consider, you know, worth it? You know, at that point, you know, if if you think a quote unquote Grail is worth that much, then you're gonna pay that much money regardless, you know. Oh, I got a good deal on on this on this Grail statue that was twenty five hundred dollars, you know. Some people think like that, you know. That's nothing wrong with that. It just depends on what you what you prioritize. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I mean, mm, it's crazy. I really wanted the the thing and like Super Scroll, 
But now that I've kind of like shifted the focus and I just understand that I'm not going to have room for all these Marvel characters, um, it kind of just doesn't. Wait, so in your main room, your main room, you're getting rid of most of your Marvel characters? Um, Honestly, this is going to, I can't even believe I'd ever say this, but I don't really give a shit about that room. Like, and it's crazy because it actually goes on to a topic that I have. Um, but hold that thought real quick because I'm just going to.